Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Shoustool with another tutorial. I am doing the dummies and empties for stuff like turrets and doors and grinders and anything else that requires a custom attribute to have it work in game. So I open up Blender and here you can see I'm using my small Gatling turret as an example. As a brief side note, turrets and I believe most other custom property using objects require that you have a construction model. The construction model has no empties in it, so you just want to make it so you don't have issues that you'll run into if you don't make it. If you want to see what kind of issues will sprout up, check out Peter Hammerman's armament pack in my workshop and you can see how that works. I suggest trying it in creative mode, grinding it down, and then building it back up. And then you'll see one of the issues that arises. If you don't crash, that is. So I'm going to do it the next part about base only, because I'm just trying to get you through the process so you can do it for the rest of them. The rest of them, it's pretty straightforward. Here I have the base. I have an empty for the terminal and empty for the custom attribute that brings up this next piece here. And then I have an empty on the bottom for a conveyor, which I have not modeled yet, but the empty's there. So it still works. So if you notice, the empty is right here on top of the base. And then this part here is raised up so the origin point is at zero, zero, zero. It has to be like that. If you don't do it that way, you're going to run into issues. The origin point is the point of rotation. So for example, on this, it's in the middle of the block underneath the ring. So I have that there, and then I have the base 2, which should be right about there. Actually, it would be right up here with these circles to reference what I'm calling the housing. And then on the front, I have where the barrel goes right there. So empty goes to where the origin point of rotation will be. So you can have a really long turret as long as the origin point is where you want the turret to rotate and the empty is where that origin point will be. <coughs> so the next step is exporting the FBX. So you have the base, the conveyor, the terminal, and then base one to grab this part here. So you export it as an FBX. As per usual, you open it up in Notepad++ and you search for material, colon, colon, and it should come up with all of your materials. And if you follow the way I did it, it should be underscore, underscore, UV after all of them. You have to remove that. And again, the easiest way to do that is to open up the Find menu, go to Replace, underscore underscore uv and then replace with nothing click replace all go to find material find all and current and here you can see that there the underscore underscore uv is gone now so now you open it up in maya <coughs> and now you need to add the custom attribute to the object so here you can see I have the empty already selected, and it looks like the block is actually sitting underneath the center line. That's how it has to be because this is the bottom of the block here. A lot of people model their furniture and have it above the grid space, and it ends up floating. So you need to make sure that the origin point is in the center, bottom of the block is actually at the 
bottom of where the block's going to be. So you have empty selected, and then you go over to the attribute editor, so it brings up this. You might be over here, just go over to the sub part, over here where it doesn't have shape after it. And then go attributes, add, you want to do file with a lowercase f, and then you want to do string type, and then you click OK. Then you'll have a empty file custom attribute show up down here. And then you want to add the name of the MWM file of the next piece, which in this case would be the housing. If I go into my MWM generators, you can see that I have the FBX and XML for the housing. So you're going to need to do this step for the base, which is this one, the housing, which is the middle part here, the base, what I'm calling it, is the big part here, and then the barrel, which is the spinning barrel. You do not need the spinning barrel, I believe. I think you're able to get away without having it. That way you don't have to have the rotating bit. So that gives you a bit more options. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything. You have the FBXs, the XMLs. The base is the only part of the block that gets an HKT because if any other parts of it have it, the turret will sometimes shoot itself and you don't want to do that. Also, you'll need to rotate the empties to properly have the orientation that you need them to have for the turret to show up how it needs to show up in the game. This also goes for doors and I'm pretty sure it goes for grinders and Probably goes for drills as well, so you can have all kinds of fancy designs as long as you properly rotate the empties how they need to be. I think that's all I really need to talk about. I'm sorry videos have been kind of scarce and that the update for my mod's been taking a long time. I've been dealing with some pretty gnarly real life issues. Uh, mostly money. I was recently called by a fraudulent uh, collection agency, and I had to deal with that, cancel my, cre my debit card and all that stuff. It's all taken care of, but I'm out money, so that happens. I think that, yeah, I think that covers everything I wanted to touch. You have their construction model, the empties, the custom attributes, everything having the proper origin points where they need to be. Um, the cube blocks SBC for the turret is pretty simple. Just look up the vanilla one and copy paste and change names as you need to change it. You might want to change uh, the components as well. I think that yeah, I think that covers everything. As you can see on my desktop, I have a MWM generators folder. I have this folder so I can keep all of my FBXs, HKTs, and XMLs away from the Space Engineers folder because I've had points where updating Space Engineers has deleted all of the FBXs and stuff inside the tools folder, which it usually doesn't do, but it does it on every odd occasion. So you want to save yours. Anywho, I'll catch you in the next video. Who knows what it'll be about. I did this one because Red Phoenix was asking me about it, and I figured I'd touch on it. Alright, later.